Today, we play Best of One. The only one in Best of One. Not Virginia Taxes. Ta-da. You Orion. This is Standard. Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CJB. And if you wanted to see one of the coolest legendaries from the new set, Wilds of Eldraine, in, ac in action, we are going to get wild. This is the Goose Mother. The Goose Mother is an X green and a blue, a 2 2 flying bird hydra that is, of course, legendary because how many bird hydras can there be and the goose mother enters with x plus one plus one counters and when the goose mother gets loose aka enters the battlefield create half x food tokens rounded up which is nice because if you just do x equal one you still get a food whenever the goose mother attacks you may sack a food if you do draw a card so we are a big mana deck doing big mana things and then paying it off with a lot of foods and epic flying goose moms the deck is Got new cards kind of all over the place, and thank God, because it needed them, because it's green. Green and didn't really have good cards. Iron Crag is a new mana rock at two that we're excited to play. It's a legendary artifact that turns into equipment if you play a legendary creature, and that makes a lot more sense when you have a Goose Mother deck. And we also have Bramble Familiar, which has this fetch quest side. So early on, it's a mana dork, an elemental raccoon that taps for green. Late in the game, it mills seven and puts a creature, enchantment, or land card from among them onto the battlefield, which is cool. And we have Blossoming Tortoise as a new card hanging out. When this enters the battlefield or attacks, so it's ongoing value, aha, it mills three cards and you get a land card from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Activated abilities of lands cost one less to activate. Land creatures get plus one plus one. So I have a sub theme of keeping pressure on the opponent with our land creatures. Restless Vine Stock is a new one and Mistress Foundry is a classic one at this point for standard. Horn Lock Whale, you might have seen in my control decks, that is on the Cool Stuff Inc. video from last week this one is very fun lagoon breaching the opponent putting the attacking creatures on top of their library possibly buying you time but being a 6-6 six, six creature with ward 2 as well that you can hit when you use your bramble familiar fetch quest and then we have virtue of strength as a one of this makes your basic lands tap for triple and on the adventure side can get you a creature or land back from graveyard to hand which is great with cards like colossal sky turtle and shigeki that can loop to get your whole graveyard and titan of indie history as a four of to try to stabilize against those pesky pesky mono red decks so that's the deck we're gonna try to add up a lot of mana and do amazing things with it simic hasn't been that kind of good in a while but i think the goose mother is ready to change things so honk honk let's dive in let the nonsense begin CoolStuffInc.com is a proud sponsor of me, CGB, and you can get my unique Dragon Rider token and 5% off your entire order by using the code CGB5 at checkout. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on this sweet dragon token. If you need singles for constructed or kitchen table play, and you want to pick up sealed product or the latest magic accessories, remember to use the code CGB5 at checkout for 5% off and get my Dragon Rider token. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Oh, this hand is sweet. On the play as well. Everything I've been looking for. I'm going to hide my blueness. Covert no blue. First victim, a Rafine's Tower. Mana Dork. Elemental Raccoon coming through. 2-2, two, two, tap for a green. I can also discard a card and pay one in green and tap it to return it to my hand. And then maybe I use the ultra expensive adventure mode. But you know what? It dies to cut down, so it will die to cut down. That's how this format works. I know. Kill it. I dare you. Kaido. Make ninja. Okay. Planeswalker deck. Vorinclex! Big Clexi coming through. Too bad I can't punch the opponent with my Stomper. This is the go for the throat test for the opponent. Um. Yeah, I can't be blocked, so makes sense. Now, what do we have here? Pass turn. 
Well, I got a whale. This is definitely gonna die, right? You're, you're not just gonna let me smash, right? Hurts. Okay. Oh, we get to draw a card from that. Yeah, I think I'll take my card. We could also whale it to the top, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm just gonna cast the whale as a 6-6 six -six right now with Ward 2. Hello. If I play it on my turn, then it enters untapped. Oh man, that Kaido's an annoying little bugger. Even though we went first, it got two cards off on us. And I'm going to have to attack it, assuming I can even get the job done. Stomper. Combat. Crush Kaito. Planeswalkers must die. We have blockers. Is this the go for the throat? Void Ren can't be countered. They don't have to pay ward. Feels good for them. Well. Titan. 4-4. Four, four. Shield. What are they got for exile? I'm going to put shield counter, I think, on the stomper because it's immune to wandering emperor. Because of vigilance. Wandering emperor can't exile it. No Sunfall! Adeline. Esper good stuff, I suppose. Sneaky creature deck. And going for the throat. Sure. What do you think? Will they defend Kaido to the death? To the pain? Will they throw an Adeline to save this Kaido? And if so, would I appreciate that? I think they'd defend it to the death, based on the way that they're playing. And those cards are keeping them in the game, so getting that off the board is a big deal. Alright, the Krag. The Titan. We're not done here. Shield. You get a shield this time. They did show us a Void Rend. I think if they had a board wipe, they would have played it. And they... If they ran board wipes, they probably wouldn't play Adeline. Those two things don't compute for me. But Wandering Emperor. <laughs> so Titan, you're you're gonna chill. Ta-da! I've learned much during Keep being right all the time. Let me show you. Go to thirteen. Fetch quest. Let's go. What do we got? I saw a turtle. Turtle on the battlefield or Shigeki? Ooh, tortoise. Ooh, tortoise. I love it. I think it's time for some land creatures up in here. And another one. Running out of stuff, but the land creatures should help. Where's my goose? That's what I really need. I mean, they're trying to build up a board. And they have Shieldred, which is, of course, busted. Please stop. Where's my goose? Goose. That is the worst draw in the deck. And that's what that is. How upsetting. So, base power and toughness 3-3, three, 4-4, three, four, four. but this is on its own as a 5-5. Five, five. I guess I can make Shieldred's base power and toughness 3-3. Three, three. That's interesting. I don't like losing this tortoise. That's something that bothers me a bit. I want to attack with it and get the value, but... I think that's just runs into Adeline. 
Well, so does the foundry. So maybe we don't attack with foundry? Nah, I'm doing it. We're going. All right, Traeger, you are a 3-3. Getting back foundry. Too bad it's tapped or we could pump foundry on foundry. All right, 13. The attack is huge. We have a 2-3 lifelink. We have a 3-3 death touch. Let's see how they survive. I mean, that's good. I really was scared that would block one of the 3-3s. Instead, they gang up on it with Denik and a 1-1. One, one. And not sure what that is. But that's probably not it. <laughs> Are we blocking on mobile? What 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 gives? I am very confused. <laughs> Why they think that's the block. I mean there's taking 20 here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold your horses. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. I support that. Math is for blockers, after all. But I'm upset about seeing half my deck in no goose moms. That That's what has me on tilt. Did, did they find it? Did they find all the blocks? I mean, are they still dead? I'm pretty sure they're still dead. Okay. And they gain two. All right, they found the blocks that keep them alive in the nick of time. We hold this for the brambles. And let's see what they draw. Denik from Graveyard. I really want to spit in the Bramble Familiar, but let's just get it done. Make them survive this attack. Power this up. Power up Foundry. Probably change my Foundry into a base power toughness 3-3. Get him. Oh gosh, if if our Bramble Familiar doesn't die, this hand is amazing. What's going on? How How am I doing this? How does my ramp hand draw well? I'm confused. All right, opponent, please don't do anything with me on turn two on the draw. Ooh, make disappear. I smell a make disappear, but we go. Go make disappear. It's my birthday. We're doing it. Hey, play the Celestis. That would be great. Didn't know my opponent took requests. Man, that's good. That's so good. Better find something nice. I'm guessing what they want to do here is Sunfall, and they haven't conceded yet. So, uh, I don't think I'm supposed to transform the invasion, and I don't think I'm supposed to cast another creature. So, I'm going to play the creature land. I'm going to hold up the Bramble Familiar. I'm going to bounce it to my hand. And I'm going to attack with the Titan and the 4 4 face. Because they, they're going to sweep the board. They're, this is a board sweep situation. If they put the Titan in the graveyard, I can get it back with the turtle. Actually... I can bounce it right now. So, um, Bramble Familiar. Discard you. Back to hand. Turtle. Return you to hand. Boundary. Could get five points in. Could transform invasion. I think we just... I mean, I could also make a whole bunch of food. And then this is in the air, and with the vine stalk, a potentially lethal attack. And that is cool, because it's a goose. 
This is really good too, and kind of demands another board wipe. I know you guys want to see the goose. Let's let's save it for a super relevant moment. Just put down another lethal threat. They sunfalled me again. Big surprise. Is that good enough? Math. One, two, three, four, activate. One, two, activate. A mana short of killing the opponent right here. But I can put them to one with lethal creature lands on board, which is kind of sick. They do have stick. They could have something else here. Man, do they have a march for this? That would be insane. Actually insane. How they do that? Good lord. Try for the stomper. Definitely worried about just getting my whole turn blown up by one counter spell. Wandering Emperor, flashback deluge, wow. Okay, we take those. Gonna put them on three. We life gain, control's fun. Blast zone, doesn't help against the foundries. Mill me? They're down to no defense. Note of all your Can I kill him? It's close. I can also mill myself for a lot, which I'm sure they'd enjoy. Um, I can deal eight to you? If I draw a tortoise, I win? You just... Oh, if I play a legendary, this becomes a, a thingy, right? So, one, two, three. Seven. Not enough to kill. But I should probably re resolve my goose mommy. So let's play the crag. Let's play goose ma. Food. Transform the crag into a equipment, hit the opponent down to six. If they sweep the board, we empower up boundary, equip it and attack for more than six. Assuming their hand isn't busted. They are also on enough mana to double jace me. They're gonna mend. Will you stop gaining life? Okay, they can mill half my deck with a mind breaker. They really need a farewell. They're not doing that. Uh, okay. Thirteen cards. No, you're good. You can hit me. That's fine. There's, there's a goose ma in the air. Opponent? Opponent? Dangerous. Glad I never cast the Bramble Familiar and milled myself. Like, Union won't do it, right? What gets them out of all this? Nothing! All right, nice mill deck. The moment they took a break to start milling me, they started dying. On the draw. Slow hand, no ramp, only a turtle. Weird. Am I supposed to mull this? 
Well, I'll draw something. I believe. Shigeki, not bad. No creature, just fairies, probably. Counter Shigeki, love it. And two lands. Could play a goose. It's a pretty bad goose. Let's hold the, up the turtle. I know I could also get the Shigeki back, but I think I'm better off just bouncing whatever they play. Especially if they're missing land. Keep them either developing their board or countering my stuff, but not both. Main phase? They're worried about a counter spell? Oh no! I was gonna cast the tortoise and I played the wrong land! I was thinking about the virtue of strength and trying to remember what it did. Anyway, goose. Yeah! Destroyed by the goose! Bow! The goose mother has never lost a game on the battlefield and that is just true. Oops, no green or I would 100% keep this. I'm still tempted because I have the Craig. Just draw the green. This hand is sick. <clears throat> Can't do it. Can't do it. Keep and I think we put away the turtle. We need all the mana production we can get. Fairies again. All right, come and get it. You like cards? I like cards. Whoa, Esper. Whack. That is whack. Elemental Raccoon, anybody? Okay, black white fairies. Interesting. Interesting, I had not considered. Let's try you again. The Vine Stalk's a really good draw. That we can play Tortoise next turn after they spend their turn killing my Bramble Familiar. Holding the birds all over the place. There's no land down there, but let's give it a shot. Please mill a land. Please mill a land. Oh, just barely. All right, please don't kill my turtle. Surely you don't have cut down, go for the throw, and more removal. Okay then, that's a good draw. We love those. I'll just keep the hits coming. We roll. Dude, my graveyard! My turtles! My virtue of strength! Oh snap. This gets back a creature or land. I could also cast it. And then my stuff would be triple? Woo! Uh, first things first, I attack you. How about six? Okay. What do we want? I mean, I want the full value, so I want to get something back. What should it be? Should it be the Bramble Familiar that could mill into something huge? Or should it be the Sky Turtle? If I get the Sky Turtle, I can also get something else back. And still cast Stomper this turn? That's insane. That's insane value. Oh my lord. Oh, I'm so good at this. We can also hold the turtle in hand until their trespasser were to attack, which probably won't happen unless they actually move the stomper. But we can save something from the trespasser eating its corpse, which is appealing. Or we can do this. The end, I think not. Rumors of Vorinclex's death were greatly exaggerated. The invasion on eight mana makes triple. Let's wait a little. Let's wait just a minute longer. Hold up. I've got many a forest. I think they're going to run out of removal. The double block. Coward.
They will not run out of removal. They're an oops all removal deck. That's the only Vorinclex, by the way. <laughs> Got him. Now I just need to draw some value. Value! Gets the familiar. All right. <laughs> I would like triple mana, please. I would like the familiar. I would like to fetch quest. Sounds like a fun activity. And let's get Shigeki. If they don't kill it this turn, I'm going to get back my whole graveyard. <laughs> now, they seem to have a million removal spells. Did they draw one? Big plays. It's a Sugar Maw. Weird card in a deck with that much removal. Oh my god, it's the mother of all gooses. Let me do this before I forget. Or mistap. Boundary. QQ. Good lord. <laughs> 2032. Nice round numbers. I love it. Come at me. <laughs> what you got? I was made for this. They tap their sugar maw. Good choice. <laughs> Goose is unbeatable. If this if the this is Goose game, I am winning. I am totally, totally winning. On the play, this hand gets the mana cooking. Hide the blue. Ah! Freaking mono red, the only thing that can foil my good time. We're gonna need some titans and need them fast. There was a time magic was fun, and then mono red happened. It used to just be all joy and millstone all the time. Well, I'm not playing the goose because I want to preserve its dignity. Couldn't get much lamer than that. The real question is, once you're four and O, oh, then go to four and one, how many in mono reds in a row does the matchmaker give you? That's the important question. The answer is at least two, and they've both had Kumano faces Kakazan on time. I think we're in better shape here. We have Virtue and Turtle. Oh, they were playing red green. And they're not giving me a target? Interesting. Very interesting. Well, I've got all these goose moms. Too bad this isn't an instant. Opponent not playing anything that turn is actually going to work out very well for them. And they just drew that, I suppose. All right, end step. We do it now. So that they don't get to just recast it. They have to spend their mana on a future turn, which is very important for the way this all works. All right, goose time. We get a food, we get a 4-4. Yeah, you're still gonna lightning strike my face? Dish face. We 
We do need another green if we're going to use Virtue and cast a Goose Mom. So we're probably just going to cast Goose Mom every turn for a while. Honk honk. I'm back for revenge. I didn't like... I didn't like that L I took last time. Now, if they have a Kami Flare, I guess that's still fine, too. If they have a Lightning Strike, great. That's a lot of resources to be thrown at the Goose. Wonderful. We, we take these. All right, seems good. Let's just let's just play this for five and hold the virtue. We can get back the turtle or the goose later with more information, more food. Samut, come at me. Let's go. We got another play with fire. I'll block that. Might be a bluff, which would be funny. Might not be. Monstrous Rage. Yep. Oh, and a card. That's so good. That's busted. All right. Well. Again. I'm going to do it next turn, too. Just going to warn you. I mean, someday they're not going to have burn and tricks. I don't know what day that will be. Mm-hmm. Seems good. So, all of these draw cards because of Samut, right? And of course, any trick with Samut kills the goose. I think we just have to block the Samut, though. Too big. I mean, the Samut in this game is absolutely worth it. There's no question. Their draw has been so good with it. Drawing three for attacking with red creatures. What has magic become? Garbage, I tell you. Not bad. All right, uh, five life for me. Four, four creature. Or we could blow up Kumano faces Kakazan. I think the four, four is worth. Rather have a 4-4 four, four than kill a 2-2. Two, two. No attacks ever. <laughs> Maybe next turn. I've got I've got a lethal board. No attacks ever, I say. Yeah. Down to 10. Are we gonna pull this off? I thought for sure I was dead last turn with the draw three. I also thought that they'd have a play with fire or another rage and kill my goose. They did not. And no way I pull this off, right? Right? No way. Um, Rusty, what you got? Will I have my revenge on the red cards yet? I wonder if they play any other green sources or if they just play Carp Forest and Copper Line Gorge to run like three or four Samuts. Probably a good enough deck. And they pass turn. Hornlock Whale. See. 13, they block one of these. But we have the food, don't we? Rawr!
I'll draw. Bosezu. They're gonna have to block. I do assume that they can kill something just barely. Four cards in hand is a lot. Here we go. And again, nice. I mean, this is great, right? This is not burn that's hitting my face. Why do you think they did that pre-combat? So I could blow up this etching and they might die. Could also wail it. I think we'll go for the Boseishu. They better have one more trick. Royal treatment, not good enough. Oh no, it has to be attacking. Oh, I thought it could be blocking, it's attacking only. All right, if I had gotten back the turtle right here, I could have done something, but yeah, okay, royal treatment, sure. Well, at least they don't get the land. They go to one, which is pretty funny. And we will, six mana, let's pass to them. I was going to get something back but I don't think we have to. We've got the breach and we've got food eating. And they just burned quite a bit of their hand. They do run royal treatment. But they also are dead. Chilling at five and one. Really happy with the deck. Some of the origin story, uh, Arjuna, who you guys might remember from Arena Craft Podcast, tweeted a list, which I played on stream a little. So if you check the live stream, I played exactly the list he sent me. And over time, I didn't want to run the Thunderous Debut and the Gruff Triplets, although they're very cool. I wanted to go a different direction. And I ended up uh, cutting those kind of those cards to make room for the Goose Moms. Hard to say that Goose Mom's a meme, though. It's bigger than I thought it would be, that's for sure. The fact that it comes in as a 2-2 and then adds the counters means it's way bigger than a Krasis. Like, on, uh, on turn four, it is a 4-4. Four, four. So it's a much better card than I think I anticipated. This hand might go uh, turn three invasion, turn four Titan, so we keep. Uh-oh. Fairies on the play is gonna be tough. If they have a counter spell, we're in big trouble. If they don't have a counter spell, we have a chance. Let's play the Craig. Less likely to get removed. Drawing two straight, basically seven drops is not fun. They hit their land drops, they dr drop a Liliana? This is my wow. home, and I don't appreciate it when I'm tired of your secret. Yeah, we might be too slow to do anything with them having a start like this. This is absurd. If we play the Goose Mother, they're just going to make us sacrifice it. So we have to top a land for the Titans, I think. And hope they have no counters. All right, they put mana into the Fae and they're making us discard. And they discard a Virtue, which is a removal spell for the most part. And they have one card left. Is it a counter spell? It's not. All right, I'll make a 4-4. Now we can shield counter. Yep. Let's see if they respond. They do not respond yet. I choose the Titan then. So what do you think they have? Another flashy creature? Bounce spell? Children's Edict would be evil. Okay, fencing. And now they make me sack with Liliana and they feel like a million bucks. 
So yeah, they just have all the bases covered. Must be nice. Not over yet though. We get to drop another Titan on them. They surveil to the top. So if that's another removal spell, I, it's just over. Close game, not really. But here is another 4-4. Four, four. The shield didn't matter last time. I guess I should have gained five. Let's do it again. Let's do it right this time. Yep. They did it again. Must be awesome. <laughs> That's so insanely frustrating. I don't even know how to explain it. But on the bright side, it's time for one goose to rule them all. So let's see. We can go one, two. Do we need to leave up a food? They have six points of damage. I don't think we do. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then do we transform the Craig? I think I do. I want to be able to make something huge. Is it a mistake? Do we have enough mana? We have enough mana to do anything that we top deck, but not anything that we top deck and eat food, which could matter. Decline. Land. They could mastermind here, make me discard the card I draw, but they don't. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather forget. You, gross. All right, we're going to attack the opponent. Liliana, to be specific. Don't want to sacrifice our goose mom. We're going to draw because the fairy mastermind was going to make us draw anyway. And if they draw a removal spell that they can play here, I'm going to scream. That is a heck of a card. Because we don't trample. Okay. Thought we did. <laughs> well, it doesn't really matter. All right. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, how does how does a nine nine flyer not trample? Hydrate crisis. Leftover vibes. All right, return, Titan. Oh wait, I'm, no, I'm not one short. It's hidden over here. It's, it's barely there. I, I was freaking out for a second. Don't counter me. Don't rip the counter spell. Don't you do it. And that would be a 4-4 four, four and 5 more life. Dude, we're turning the beat around. Maybe not. Children and fairies. Well, Liliana, are you going to do something or nothing? You can trade it right now with a 4-4. That's probably better than doing nothing. I wish I had transformed the Craig. <laughs> I'm starting to be filled with regret. Ooh, discard? Wow. Wow! You're a maniac. I will draw. That is a whale. Whale is pretty good. Yo face, yo lily, and nothing. And yes, I'm gonna eat a food. I do not care, Shieldred. You don't intimidate me. I don't even care about your mastermind. I give no, no flocks. We gotta trade? We do gotta trade. And fencing? Cheats. So does that mean Sheldred won't die? It's, it's, yeah, this will be a 4-4. Do I want to whale my own Titan? If I do 
I have to decline when I play this. No, it says search. I would just shuffle it away. Not good enough. Yep. I mean, nice draw. That works. And Lily lives. We'll see if the opponent attacks first, though. Man, if I transform this. Kaido. Okay. If the powerful won't help, I'll do it myself. Well, Lily, plus or minus, plus. I flash in a 6-6. Six, six. I breach the lagoon. Whale noises and goose noises in the same deck. That's value. Careful. I guess they can untap the Sleep Cursed Fae. But do they want to? We go to six. Draw gain two. Thanks. I'll be taking that now. Getting beat up by Planeswalkers in a fairy deck. And Shieldred, because why not? Yeah, this whole game kind of coming back to not uh, transforming the Iron Crag is tilting. Down to four. Another whale. They're at 15. Have to block here. If they block here, they go to five. It's not really good enough. Am I gonna lose two on this food? Go down to two, go up to five. They can kill me with Fairy Mastermind, so we decline. We need the life. We gotta get rid of the Liliana though, or the whale will do us no good. They didn't use Shieldred to block either one of these. That's so interesting. And they don't activate Mastermind. 11 to 4. Ego Drain. Well, Whale. Hoi! <laughs> Hype for flash speed. Too bad I can never use adventure mode. They're going for it. We block. Food. We can't go down to two because then they can respond to food activations with the mastermind trigger. So we do this before we take that damage. If they had blocked and killed that stomper before, now this things would be a lot different. How do you get out of it? How do you get out of it, boss? Sorry, Shieldred. There's a new mother in town. It's the Goose Mom. Definitely line would have been better delivered to an Elishnorn. Eh? Oh, here we go. Eh, honk, honk. 15. Ramble familiar. So I can activate the Iron Craig by playing the Goose Mom. They're at 17. Go for the throat to hello card. What is this? 12, 16. So that would take one, two, and then one, two, three. And then one, two, one, two, three. So that's four. And then we could get a food. And another food. So two foods. I potentially have lethal anyway. I'm trying to play for lethal through a removal spell. And this can equip even though it's tapped. K 
Okay. What you got? Your face. Uh, decline. A mastermind. Not good enough. Boom! Not today, Faye. Came up with that one all on my own. Thank you. And we are back for the post game wrap. And we went six and one with Simic? With Simic. With Goose Mother. I. I. I am. I'm very actually. What is this feeling? I'm happy. I think I'm happy, you guys. I think I feel happy. The one loss was to Mono Red. That is the thing. You know, a, a, an L to Mono Red is like an L, like seven L's. Just burns me. Literally, figuratively. But yeah, this is a cool take on the Simic archetype and something that you can try if you're looking to shake up your ladder experience. And apparently, crafting Goose Mother isn't a total fail. The card is bigger than I thought it would be, more useful than I thought it would be. Pretty strong card. I love it. I just wish Go for the Throat weren't in the format and Heartless Act still was, because... That would be uh, much better for our goose mom. All right, a uh, quick little note here at the end of the video. Please remember to like and subscribe. You stayed till the end. I really appreciate you. I also want to mention that I will be one of the hosts of Game Nights Live. A commentator, actually, is the proper term. So while the Pro Tour hasn't called me for commentary services, Game Nights has. And I'm really excited about that because, honestly, for the last several years, my... My whole career has moved in a more content-centric direction, and nobody does it like Game Nights. So I will be live on stage at Game Nights Live in Las Vegas, commentating on the Game Nights Championship. So if you want to see that, make sure you get your tickets to MagicCon Vegas. I really hope to see as many of you there as possible. It will be very cool. I'll also have a signing uh, at the Game Nights uh, booth, and I'll let you know what time that is. And we're also working on possibly doing some other arrangements where you guys can come play Games of Magic with me, TGB. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you to my sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc. and Moxfield. As always, I will see you in the next video. You are cool. Command Fest Orlando is coming October 20th to 22nd. So get ready for a weekend full of Magic the Gathering in one of the country's premier vacation destinations. Get your tickets now at commandfestorlando.com.